Okay. The icy wastes before her felt profound and deeply wrong. Like staring into a grisly wound, revealing bone under the fleshy mounds of muscle. Seeing layers of Jeremy that she would rather stay hidden. Right, I'm gonna just save my game just, just in case things go wrong here. We are in the coast of Greenland, what the hell? Well, this should be... This should be a new video, brand new era. Yeah, I believe this is a new video. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's because I haven't posted anything yet. Well, I'm trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. It's the coastal of Greenland or the Greenland of the coasts or whatever. This is definitely Greenland. Look how much it's green. Actually, this is the only place in uh, on Earth that doesn't have, I think, trees or something? It's a weapon, an ice pick, actually. Well... Yeah. Oh, flares. Why cannot I pick that up? Here we go. Ah, you have to hold to switch up your weapons. Well, I think it's about time. I think we should use these. Yeah, because the game is telling us how to... Oh, the Greenland Expedition. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day, the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb, towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Heshtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. So that looks like a horror story. Okay, it's so damn... 
a dream catcher? No, it's a silo offering. You wouldn't hear me much talking because of the weather anyways. So. Oh, wait a minute. We do have this, though. Prisoner of Ice. What can be said about Jacob van Ostad without evoking contempt or apologia? The first piece of information is the obvious. He is not the explorer Jeremy idolized in his youth, but the figment of his imagination. If you want biographical facts, I am not the one to answer such questions. In the case of Jeremy, he is a guardian of imagination, or rather a persona appointed the role of containing a self-sabotaging mania. However useful Jacob once was, his loyalty to Jeremy has slowly been replaced by fanaticism. Like a firekeeper who has for decades been burnt by his own sacred flames, now does what he imagines the fire wants. Jeremy has lost all control over Jacob and suffers greatly because of him, but is admittedly also still invigorated by his labor. In the plainest of words, Jacob keeps Jeremy sick so he can remain Jeremy. Hmm. Interesting, interesting indeed. Well, anyways, we don't have much else here. So these are the expedition. Okay, I'm not going to talk that much anyways. because of the weather that stargate you can barely move because of the weather and how how much intensive the wind is Okay, 
so many crystals. What the hell is this place? Are there like aliens in here or something? This is definitely not so. Oh my. Who are you? What do you want? Emily! You should not have come! Yeah, hey, we can talk about this! It's too late for that! It's too late! Okay. Uh, all right. okay, okay, we're just doing this. You wanted this. Align the stars. Oh, the dark man is going to be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy. We said everything. Look at this. Okay, I guess this is what we are doing. I hope we are right. I think this is the last one. Son of a people. No! How? 
Okay, at least we know how to do this. Were we getting like frozen or something? I think we were like freezing over there. No, uh, anyways, uh, okay, we're repeating this, it's totally fine. We can skip this actually. Okay, let's just do this correctly. Okay, now things got uh, a little bit uh, hard here. way better now because it, I wasn't able to see this before now I'm able to see it in full HD yeah here's the thing I don't understand how it's Jeremy now dark man of course I don't understand why are you here I did everything you wanted to break the pack what else can I do? Wait, it did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Emily, stop! Don't worry, we got you. 